क्वेश्चन नंबर टू थर्टी टू एक्स वाई क्यूब इंटू वाई डी एक्स प्लस टू एक्स डी वाई प्लस थ्री वाई डी एक्स प्लस फाइव एक्स डी वाई इक्वल टू जीरो द गिवन डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इज इन द फॉर्म एक्स राइ एक्स राइज टू आल्फा इंटू वाई राइज टू बीटा इंटू एम वाई डी एक्स प्लस एन एक्स डी वाई प्लस x raise to alpha dash into y raise to beta dash into m y m dash y dx plus n dash x dy equal to zero. So for for such differential equation, integrating factor will be of the form x raise to h into y raise to k. So we first have to check whether the differential equation is exact or not. So I assumed the equation is not exact. You have to check. Uh, whether the equation is exact or not. Now we are going to apply rule six to find the integrating factor. So if you assume x raised to h and y raised to k is an integrating factor for this differential equation, when you multiply, you get the differential an exact differential equation, and then we are going to use the property of exact differential equation. Do I, sorry. Do m by do y equal to do n by do x. Uh, to find the values of h and k, so we will so multiply with x raised to h, y raised to k, and rearranging. So we will rearrange in the form m dx plus n dy. So we will first take all the dx terms. So we have. x y so first d d x term is x y cube into y so x into y raised to four so we have x in x raised to h plus one into y raised to k plus four okay x raised to h plus one into y raised to k plus four plus uh, second uh, second d x term is just three y So three into x raised to h into y raised to k plus one. So into dx plus first dy term is two x square y cube. So it becomes two x raised to h plus two y cube is k plus three. Plus and second dy term is five x. So five into x raised to h plus one into y raised to k plus k just k so it's just 5y 5y dy equal to 0 so we got our equation now uh, this is our m and this is our n and we are going to find the dou m by dou y first to apply this property so dou m by dou y is k plus 4 into x raised to h plus 1 into y raised to k plus 3 plus k plus sorry 3 k plus 1 into x raised to h into y raised to k similarly do n by do x is given by 2 into h plus 2 x raised to h plus 1 into y raised to k plus 3 Plus five into h plus one into x raised to h into y raised to k. So, since do m by do y equal to do n by do x, we can compare the co co coefficients. Comparing the coefficients, we have uh, k plus four equal to two h plus four. And second equation is three k plus three is equal to five h plus five. So this becomes this. If you simplify this, four and four cancels. So k equal to two h. And this equation, it is five h minus three k equal plus two equal to zero. So using k equal to two h, we have five h. Minus three into two h plus two equal to zero. Or uh, so if you take six h minus five h, so this gives 
h equal to 2. So we have h equal to 2, therefore k equal to 2h or 4. So we got our integrating factor x raised to h, x square, and y raised to 4. So this is our integrating factor. Now we will apply this value h equal to 2 and k equal to 4 here in this equation so that we will get our exact equation that we need to the, um, we will be using to find the solution so okay let me just copy this to a new page So this is our equation. Now we got our h and k as h is 2 and k is 4. So h equal, sorry, h equal to 2 and k equal to 4. So if you apply h, h equal to 2 and k equal to 4, we have x, x raised to uh, to q x cube y raised to 8 plus 3 x raised to th 3 x square y raised to 5 dx plus 2 into x raised to h plus 2 x raised to x plus 2 becomes 4 into y raised to 7 plus 5 into x raised to h plus 1 so x cube y raised to 4 dy equal to 0 so this is our exact equation so we found out our h and k using the property of exact equation so this equation will be exact you can check whether this is exact or not uh, it will not be exact only if we made some mistake in the steps so okay so this is our exact equation so solution for exact equations are given by is given by sorry m dx uh, y is constant here plus integral terms in n without x dy equal to 0 so integral m dx we have x cube y raised to 8 plus 3x square y raised to 5. So terms in n without x, every term has n in it, so that vanishes. So this is equal to c is the integral. So in this integral, we treat y as a constant. So integrating, we have x raised to 4 by 4 into y raised to 8 plus x cube by 3 and 3 cancel. So x cube into y raised to 5 equal to c. you multiply throughout by 4 we have x4 y raised to 8 plus 4 x cube y raised to 5 equal to another constant c1 so take x cube y raised to 5 common we have x cube y raised to 5 so x into y cube plus 4 equal to constant so this is the solution where you can say where c1 is uh, we multiply it throughout by 4 so 4c so it is an arbitrary constant c1 so this is the solution to our question x cube y raised to 5 into x y cube plus 4 so these are the steps so we found out our integrating factor x which was x square y raised to 4 using rule 6 so this is the solution to question number 232